Good morning, we're going to be looking at some tiny weeny Christmas decorations. In this basket here, I have a selection of items that I'm going to be making. I know I've already done one video, but I'm going to be looking at some other products now. Really pleased with my little basket, charity shop find, two pound. Isn't she cute? It's a little vintage basket there, I just love the shape of it. So I've put all my bits and pieces in here, so there is such a mixture. There's also some things that I've bought, so I wanted to show you some of the things that I'd found, because what I'm trying to do, it's not a diorama, it's a shelf I have. Um, and on this shelf I'm wanting to make a Christmas sort of living room so there's lots of decorations and things going on but we're going to do a lot of handmade one of the items we're going to also do is you might not be able to see on this now this is the product I did there's no date on this let me have a look is there a date it is this is December 08 where I was doing some work for the Dolls House magazine at that point and we did this little angel so we're going to do that little angel as well. We have paper chains, we have garlands, all on the cheap. This is how you do it. <laughs> there are products out there, but to be honest, some of them are so, so simple to make. If you have no crafting skills or you don't wish to craft, there are some gorgeous things out there. Get out there, look on Etsy, look on eBay. There's some fabulous crafters out there and buy their products. I have already bought some ready done things, which are in the basket. Um, but if I can make it because I like to craft, I'm going to make it basically. So I have some things in here, little goodies in this basket, and we're going to make some of those in a few minutes if you would like to join me. So I will see you in a minute with my basket full of goodies. Hi, well, this is the first thing we're going to look at. And yes, it's garlands. I think you probably worked out. Now I'm working on a 12th scale here, but a lot of it you could definitely make larger. You can scale up, but it's nice to have these smaller items to actually do it with. Now, this is a fireplace I am going to be planning on using. It has actually already got a, um, a crochet wreath that I made a long time ago. It takes so long to make, though. And these really gorgeous little stockings are ones that my mum has knitted. So, but I wanted this just to get an idea of the size. Now, it is really, really cheap to do this. Now, these, for example, I bought, I think it was a pound pack of eight or ten from the pound shop so that was a great one so I'm going to use that as my base now wreaths and garlands they work on the same sort of principle I've already made a little circle out of one of these so you can see but I will go through that as well and there's also a smaller one that I've done there but as far as accessories are concerned this is one I got off eBay because I thought it was a few berries in it so that's quite cute and the little little uh, leaves there are quite small these are just tinsel pipe cleaners and these I bought in a pack. Now I think, now this is the packet here, I've sort of ripped it a bit, mini fur cones they've called them. Now I'm sure I've seen these on a tree that's near where we live so I think I might have to go out and see if I can collect some of these. They weren't expensive, I think they were just over a pound something like that from Hobbycraft. So they weren't expensive but I think they make perfect little sort of realistic sort of size pine cones for the dolls. I've just got a few sort of candy canes here, which are just some FIMO bits and pieces that I made, but you can buy these easy enough. Little pom-poms. I have some little roses, because I fancied roses on my wreath. And we have a little bow there. Basically, you can decorate it with whatever you want. I mean, this, for example, is really easy to get hold of. Um, it's used for general decoration, but it's small enough that we can add to the dolls items now i have some glue stick here it doesn't glue that great for this particular job i have some super glue which is great as long as you don't stick your fingers and i have this horrible thing now i know a lot of people absolutely adore glue guns and get on really well with them i don't i don't know why i'm just not very good with a glue gun so but i am going to try and pop some of the bits on with a glue gun so i'm going to take my yeah, it's finished stuck on my glue tack this take my crocheted wreath off which will be being put on something else but i'll take it off for now because i just sort of wanted to look at sort of measurements here for this so this is the one we need to use for our we'll go we'll go with the uh, fireplace one first so it's about the right length already so all i'm going to do is because i want a bit of a swag I'm just going to bend it around my particular fireplace. You may have a different size one. That's why you do need your fireplace. And there you go. You've got a basic wreath. You've got a wreath. I keep wanting to call it a wreath. You've got a basic garland before we even think about it. It needs more on it than that, of course. And it needs a bit of shaping and a bit of styling there. So I think what we'll use is this one because I want some holly on it. 
So just taking that away from there now, I'm going to find centre point, which is about there, and that is where I would start. And I'm just going to wrap it around. I'm sure for some of you, you're like, oh yeah, I've done this loads of times, this is really easy. It's just sort of a nice sort of bit of fun that you can do. It's something that's easy as well, you could do with children. It doesn't have to be sort of just an adult crafting process here. I mean, look at that, it took seconds, absolutely seconds. And it just adds a little bit more texture and a little bit of colour there. Now, I wasn't planning on finding these little cones, but I do think these are perfect. So I think they're going to go on. We need some colour. Now, shall we go tinsel or shall we go swags with this? Let's have a look how this would fit. And again, I've used no glue or anything up to now. Because these are all sort of pipe cleaner based, they do hold themselves quite well. This won't, though, so I don't know. Shall I go... I sort of fancy the red, actually. Now, the red's going to be easy to put on because it is a pipe cleaner. Now, you can get these in packs of various colours they're easy enough to get I would also recommend always have a look in the children's crafting section because you will pick things up there sometimes cheaper I don't understand this I know I bought PVA glow and when I bought it from one section it's been one price then I've gone around to the children's section and it's cheaper but it's the same size bottle but it's just labeled different it's the same product so keep an eye out for that so we're going to go with this one I like the reds so and again all I'm going to do is just wind it round and round and round so I can get a nice bit of colour in there. How long's that taking? About a minute? Two minutes? Now the dreaded glue gone. I'm going to try it. I hate it, but I'm going to try it. So let me find out some nice little cones here. That's a nice one. Oh, we've got a little double one there. That's sort of quite cute. But then I'd want a double one on the other side. I've got a thing about symmetry. So uh, let's get some more out of the bag because I need them to match a little bit. Hey, we're going to have a table full of these. I'm going to have to stop between each project because otherwise I'm going to have so much mess. They look about right, don't they? Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. We've got some tiny weeny ones there as well. That one's quite sweet, and that one. So let me have a go with this glue gun. The glue gun, like I say, nightmare for me. There's glue already coming out of it, and I burn myself every time, like I have just done. So all I'm going to do is, I have a little heat mat here, so I'm going to do it over there. So I'm going to just carefully put a little bit of glue. Ooh, not too bad. This is a stringy bit. This is what I hate. And I'm going to just fix it in just somewhere. Doesn't matter where, wherever it takes my fancy. And I'm going to do this one. And I don't know whether it's me, I don't, I've not got a good enough glue gun, but I also don't find them that particularly strong. You know, the item, I'm going to be covered in little uh, little strands, aren't I? I'll put that one in there. Oh, that looks really cute. I like this. This is going to work nicely. So, yeah, I don't like the glue gun, but it is doing its job, isn't it? But please, please be careful. This is certainly not something you want to let a child near because they are lethal. I don't know whether you've ever, ever burnt yourself on one, but it hurts. Let's just move those about a little bit like that. These little tiny strands you get of the glue, you can just pick off afterwards when it's all solid and dried. So you can have fun watching me burn myself, although I'm doing quite well. Oh, that cone's not very good. I'm going to take that one off because look, it's got a bit of damage on it. So again, I get a little spidery web of uh, glue again. And uh, let's find one roughly the same. That looks about the same. As I said, this is just a fun video, hopefully. Just for a bit of fun. Hopefully you're going to enjoy it. You probably know more than I do. Now, do I want any more? Shall we have some in the middle there? Perhaps? It's also a very sort of ad-libbed video, so I'm not overly thinking about it. Although that's quite nice. What about that in the centre? Or would that look nice for my wreath? A little double one. Oh, I'm so indecisive. I'm amazed I get anything done, you know, sometimes. Oh, big blob of glow there. And we'll go in there, I think. Push it in, make sure, obviously, your sort of leaves and things are going around it. And that looks... That one's a nice one, isn't it? Slightly longer stalk, but that will help it actually sort of hold in to the work. I'm actually surprising myself. I'm not doing too bad with the glue gun. So let's push that in. Oh, I hope I haven't broken the cone. 
let's push that in there i think that looks okay so we've got some little cones on there i'm pleased i bought them because i really do think they finish it off nicely now as i said the flowers i wanted to save for the wreath so shall we go pom-pom i think and again tiny weeny bit of glue for the pom-pom don't get it everywhere like i will like i can guarantee i will and i'm just going to pop one in there this is coming together nicely even though i'm covered in glue strings and let me move that up there and pop it in there just gives it a little bit of color i'm very traditional with the colors i do like my reds my golds my greens um but of course you can do it any color you want it doesn't have to be these pop that one with the pine cone look at this because i don't know whether you can see like I said, they're driving me mad, but it's doing its job, so you just got to be careful. Uh, make sure you're not getting glue everywhere. Like I say, I'm gonna have to stop in between each project because I know I'm gonna be making enough mess that I need to clean up before I can start. That's coming together nicely. We've got one bit there that needs to sort of just curl around a bit. Now, let's see how we fit in. I think that's looking good. In fact, I don't think that's far off being done. And the beauty is it's still bendy, so I can still shape it around it. Now, do I put a flower in the middle so then it's sort of matching? Or shall I not? Yes, I will. I'm going to put the flower in the middle. These are just little fabric flowers that you can get. Um, a lot of haberdashery stores have them. Loads online, of course. And then we pop that in the middle. And then when I do my wreath, it's going to match, isn't it? So I'm quite pleased with that. How long did that take? Oh, a few minutes. I know I'd got the glue gun ready. I got all my bits and pieces. So there's a little bit of preparation. But apart from that, I'm really pleased with that. When I finish the room that I'm doing, it's like a shelf that I'm doing the Christmas room on. Uh, we'll do some photographs so you'll be able to see it. Now, again, attaching it. It depends on how permanent you want it. Sometimes you have a room that's like a permanent room. Let me see if I can sort of shape it around it a little bit. Just curving these corners but I don't like to have mine fixed because I do change them so this is going to be blue tack when I've done it but otherwise those cones best investment they look amazing so I'm really pleased with that and say so you can add as much or as little as you want perhaps you could sort of add a few candy canes or just something to make it a little bit different make it personal to you so that is our garland made now the wreath is really working on the same system i have got one of these pound shop ones here now i've got a packet of them i was planning on having one already out but for some reason i've only got the one that's for that so i tell you what we'll leave that one like that we'll roll this one up now this is a little bit more sort of authentic perhaps slightly smaller on the detail so these are quite nice but again these were just from the range nice and cheap and all I'm going to do is decide the size of my wreath. I think that's about okay. I think that's more than enough. And I'm just going to twist that little bit there so they stay together. And then all I'm going to do is wind this around to make it a little bit thicker. So I've just wound it all the way around again because it's a bike cleaner. Look at all the mess it makes. So it stays in place. But that's still a little bit thin for me. Like I said, this one makes a much fluffier one. But if they are larger details. I think this is slightly finer detail, which I actually prefer. But what I did with this one, which is a thin one like that. But then can you remember this sort of little holly leaf one? I used that on it. So it's given it a little bit more texture. Now I took the berries off because they looked a little bit big on it. So we'll move that one to one side. So now I want to try and decorate it up. So it's going to be similar to our garland. So we want, she wants her room to be a little bit the same. So I want this one because I have some of that on there. And again, it's a pipe cleaner. We can just bend it around. This will be way too long, but it gives us an idea. It's, it couldn't be any simpler. As long as you're not using the glue gun, I've just thrown everything everywhere. Aren't I? Again, these are great for kids to do. Nice and messy, just before Christmas, just what you want. Right, so almost round, and I think that will do. Because I want to leave a little bit of space here for my ribbon. So I'm just going to use a pair of scissors because these cut quite well. Don't use your embroidery scissors or your 
sort of fabric scissors or anything like that these are just some general little old scissors that i have they get used for absolutely everything so i have my basic shape i'm just going to make sure i'm not losing the roundness of it and i've got oh i've got my i had the upset about that didn't i what do you think that at the bottom or maybe not maybe oh i don't know i'm spoiled for choice i need some really tiny ones though don't i for this so i'm gonna empty more out of the bag and make more mess can you imagine what it's like when I'm doing things? Really, it's terrible. So I have a little one there with another little one. Um, some of them are a little bit squashed. Definitely going to go out uh, and hunt for some of these because I'm sure these are from a tree that's near us. Because I can remember seeing some a few years ago. Perhaps not, but they're very similar anyway. Um, what shall I do? I think I'll just take these two for now. And I'm going to stick these on exactly the same as I did before. Good idea if I stick it on the right end. I can't believe I'm sort of getting on with this glue gun. It's my friend today. That's one. Still not got one that's exact size. Oh, where are you? Let's pour some more out. Let's make a total mess. one there we go so we'll pop that one there so we have a couple of those on now i said i wanted some little flowers so i'm going to put some little roses just below them again these are just those little fabric sort of silky sort of roses that you can get you can get like bags of them there's tons of them oh stringy 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 glue that's one Now I'm getting really messy now. <laughs> I've got it all over me as well. Uh, I don't know about cleaning my table up. I'll be cleaning me up. But they are sticking quite well. Now I need something. I've got this bow, but I'm not so sure how it sits. Sometimes bows don't sit so well. This is a pre-bought bow. If you're really good at making a bow, to be honest, I would do your own. Um, because they do look a lot nicer. So let's see, would that fit about there? It's not bad, is it? Or should it go at the top? I think it should go at the top. I'm not convinced on how the bow is sitting. I can actually make bows. I've made the mistake here. I should have done my own, but I thought, well, we'll show it as in sort of products, obviously, you can buy easily. Look at all this it's stringy, stringy, stringy bits of glow. I could make another item with all these strings of glow. I don't know what. Thankfully, after I've done this project, I'm not using the glue gun. I'm going to be using other glues, so it'll make life a little bit easier. So, what do you think? But then I'm going to need something at the bottom, aren't I? So, I think we need the bow there. Right, let's see if I can try and put it on without covering it in this glue. Because it's a satin item, I don't want glue. Puff. Got a mouthful of it then, I think. Everywhere. Oh, that's okay there we go so we've got a little bow at the bottom but we definitely need something up here now i have another rose there so perhaps if we have two cones with a rose in the middle i think that would be nice and there's one and then need another cone this is not quite a long video because I know people fast forward these type of videos but I thought it was a bit more fun to actually sort of see me working it at sort of a, a, a real pace should I say in a messy pace <laughs> so that's that one there and then we can have the little rose in the middle well I'm enjoying making a mess anyway so let's move those over a little bit and let's see how that goes. As I say, when it dries, you can take these little bits of strings off. So I'm quite pleased with that. I think that's okay. What do you think?
Again, I'm going to use a low tack. Oh, you can use blue tack, white tack. And there is a special tack you can buy for doll's house things so you can sit them on the walls. Um, but uh, I just use basic white tack. Just be careful if you're putting it on wallpaper in your doll's houses because obviously it can damage them. But I'm quite pleased with them. I think that's very festive. So they're going to be going in the house. I'm going to be now moving on to another project. Now, the next project we're going to be doing can you remember these depends on how old you are i can remember making these i absolutely love them so this is a really sort of quick one that we can do and i mean really quick the other one we're going to be doing is looking at making a little angel which is a tree decoration that i made i'm just reaching across apologies for that now this was done in the doll's house magazine now i think i looked at the date when i mentioned it before yeah december 08 so long ago because i used to write articles and make projects for the doll's house magazine for about three or four years and this is one that we did so we're going to make this little cutie she, she even made it onto the front cover there i was really pleased with her so when i've tidied up we're going to move on to making an angel for our tree that we did i can also turn the glue gun off although i am relatively pleased with how it's worked i might have to start getting used to it because it can be quite handy so we're going to move on to this little girl i'm just having a quick look around my table yep i've got all the pieces here together i'm also going to show you a few bits that i've bought off ebay because i wouldn't make everything as i mentioned at the beginning i would buy and there's some great people out there with some fantastic products so we're going to look at a couple of those as well so i will see you in a moment when i've tidied my table with our next project i'm back now with project number two i've tidied up well if that's what you call it i've actually pushed it all inside the basket that i showed you earlier i'll tidy it up later we've got so much to do at the moment obviously we've got this mad rush up to christmas if you do celebrate christmas you know it's a busy time and there's lots of things to sort but again a little bit of time for yourself that is what i'm doing here i've just got, realized i've got glue stuck on my nails still got glue on my hands but whatever it doesn't matter a crafter never has tidy hands now as i mentioned little paper chains now depending on your age you will remember these i certainly do i used to buy them in sort of like little blocks and you could sort of you, they sort of stuck each end and stuck, stick together stuck together can't speak and you'd make these paper chains and they would make really cheerful and gorgeous decorations i absolutely love them they're very retro and i think a lot of those retro designs are back in at the moment so i thought it would be a bit of fun to make them for the doll's house or my room i do have a doll's house but it is nowhere near ready for decorating so that is why i'm doing the shelf rather than the actual house so i'm going to just pop that there now what i've used is a little bit of a cheat you could buy lots of paper and if you wanted to cut them up into tiny little bits by all means if you've got the time for that but i sort of cheated this is quilling paper now i bought this just as a batch you can see it's sort of joined there so uh, it's made a bit of a mess because i've just cut bits off but i will keep this safe for if i want to use it for other things so as i say it's a quilling paper it's more of a sort of like um i think it's sugar paper they use not sugar paper you get a certain sort of textures to the paper and it sort of sticks a little bit better so i just chose this it cost me a few pound off ebay and well it's going to last me forever or i can use it for other projects as well so i will keep that nice and safe because i'm sure something will come up that i need to use it for so i chose out of that certain colors that i would want and i cut them into these little strips so it says there what the quilling this actual one is it's a five millimeter one so again there's different widths so you can choose what you want so i just cut some out just to make life a little bit quicker Ta -da! we don't need all those you don't need to see me do the whole thing because it would drive you mad but basically here are the little pieces of paper there's a bit of me uh, ivy there from the other one so you can see the length that i've done it's probably what we're looking at towards three centimeters two and a half to three centimeters in length now i've used a glue stick for this the only thing is with a glue stick you do have to be patient because it does take a little while to hold that is why i have these things i've just bought a variety here to show you so i've got some tweezers to hold if it gets a bit fiddly or some pliers whatever works for you it's just something to hold it for a second i've already started this one so i'm gonna carry on doing it 
doesn't matter what colour combination you do. You could do them because you can get silver quilling papers, gold quilling papers, all sorts. I mean, you could really theme it up. You could make it all pink. See, pink seemed to be a big theme at the moment. Everywhere I've gone, it's pink decorations. Um, so you could do it all pink and white, which would look really cute. Entirely up to you. As I said, I like my colours. I like variegations. I like lots of different colours, very old fashioned perhaps, but I do love them. So we're going to have a go with this here. In fact, I need a yellow one because I've done it in an order. So I'm going to grab a piece of the yellow and it's as simple as put it through. I'm just sort of going to hold it like that. One of these sides needs a little bit of the glue on. So this is just a bog standard glue stick. It's a bit clumsy, this one. You can get smaller ones. And I'm just going to Make sure it's got plenty of glue on it. Again, I get it all over my fingers. And this is where it can get a little tricky if your fingers don't want to move. So, my, I know I made these years ago and my fingers definitely moved a lot easier than they are doing now. So I'm going to look really clumsy here. I can't hold it. And the thing is, because I've got to try and do it under the camera, it's uh, not so easy either. So, just so you can see what I'm doing, I'm just going to grab the pliers and just hold it in place just for a second. Right, make sure it's nice and neat and you just might need to hold it for a second or two until the glue adheres. It's easy enough if one comes on to, undone to redo it. It doesn't take much doing, but it can sort of just sort of need that bit of a squish, which your fingers might not be able to get in and do. Right, we need a blue one after the yellow. So I think there's two there stuck together. Is there two there? Sometimes the papers do stick together. So I'm just going to push it through. Hold it in my fingers, oh, throwing it over there, a bit of glue. PVA glue works really well, but again, you do have to be patient with the PVA glue for sticking. So that was a bit easy. Can you see I just sort of rolled it and then I'm going to grab my pliers and before it sticks, just straighten it up a bit and sticks it down. Yeah, so I can remember sitting making these for absolutely hours and I just again I love the colours, I like the designs, it just brings back a lot of memories doing this. We're just going to do one more, I think that's all you need to see really. Obviously to start with you just started with a single circle and then you carried on doing this. So I'm going to go for an orange one next, is that an orange? That's more of a yellowy orange isn't it? I think that one. Yep. So I'm just going to push it through, hold it my bit of glue on that side I'm just going to roll it and you see what I'm doing now I'm just trying to fold it so as I can get that in line like that then I'm going to grab my pliers hold it shuffle it over so it's a little bit neat don't get too much glue on them because they can get wet so if you do use PVA be careful because you can make the paper a little bit too soggy so you can see that one's got a bit squashed. I shouldn't have really used this plier because can you see it's slightly serrated? I should have used my other one. But you can get a little bit of a serration there. Whereas this one, it has no serrations in it. So that would have been better. I don't know why I picked the other one up. Never mind. It's done now. It's only a bit of paper. Right, let's shuffle that one along that looked a little bit scruffy there. But you see it's not very circular, that one. So all you need to do is just squish it into place a little bit more. And you just carry on and carry on and carry on, which I've got to carry on and carry on because I want to put it in the doll's house or my doll's shelf. So I've got quite a bit more to do because the shelf sort of measures maybe two, two and a half foot in length. And I wanted it to go all the way along. So I've got quite a few more of those to do. So but you don't need to see me do that. I'm sure it would drive you mad. So that is our little paper chain. And again, just using quilling paper, because it's nearly all cut. All I've had to do is snip it into sort of two and a half centimetre pieces and then make into the little shape. So that is our gar our paper garland, should I say. So I need to move a few more bits because we are now going to be looking at the little angel. And here she is. Now, I've started to make her. As you can see, there is a list of items that are required, but you can sort of manipulate that to what suits you. And I have a few bits and pieces just here. So I'm going to move that up there. Now, this is just some, uh, I don't know, just sort of like a stick-on sort of gem, 
for want of a better word but i wanted a little sort of crown for us so that is why i've got that so that i can move to one side because we don't need that yet now it refers to a glitter cardboard this is the cardboard i have let me move these out of the way a little bit so they're not in our way so that's how i'm going to start I'll pop all these bits down. They're all in sort of different stages at the moment. So I'll pop them there and then I can show you what we're going to do. Now, the first thing I did was I cut out a circle. And all then happened was I cut it in half, as simple as that. Um, I used a circle cutter to do it. That's why I did it that way. So a little bit lazy. So I've got these tiny weeny pegs, which are amazing to hold things. They really do make life easier. We're going to have a go with the glue stick rather than me get the PVA glue out. Because again, I make an awful mess with glue. So we need to just carefully bend this. You need to carefully bend it because you don't want it to end up with any creases in it. And what we're going to do is we're going to pop some glue down one side. Yeah, so we've got some glue there. PVA might work better as this is a glitter glue, but for demonstration purposes, I'm using this one. So you can see I've just curled it round. So we get a little cone. Yeah, it's just a tiny cone. You can make these as big or as small as you want. And then, like I say, these little pegs are amazing. Look how handy that is. So I can now leave that to one side to stick. They are brilliant. I've got a little packet of them. Um, I don't really know what they're used for. I know people do use them for dolls' house things or dolls' things. But uh, I can remember actually pinning up Christmas cards with them. You used to have a, like a string and then you could pin your Christmas cards. And I think you can still buy them for that purpose. So I think that is what probably they're for. But I have a box. Hi. Ugh, I can't speak. I have a few of these in a box and they're just handy for doing things like this. So I would then leave that to glue for a while. Now, going on to the body, you can see... I've got these little things here, little little sleeves, so to speak. She's lost one sleeve there. And for the little sleeve, all I've used is a little bit more of the cardboard. And it's just sort of like a little, as you can see on the picture, it's like a little triangle, but slightly on an angle. The only thing is I've dropped the one, there was one on here and I've lost it now. So I've got to try and replicate the size. So that might not quite work. Ta -da! that's too big i know it is yeah you can see that's too big but we can easily easily alter that it's better if it's too big than too small obviously if it's too small it's going to make your life difficult we need a bit more of an angle there as well you can make these whatever shape you want they don't have to be the same shape as mine but basically that's her little arm so i'm going to pinch a bit of this glue i'll take paper to glue rather than glue to paper in that scenario because it's easier because it's small and we're going to pop it on there she's got one sleeve slightly longer than the other i don't think the glue stick is going to stick that well let's try and hold that there for a few minutes it's not going to because it's a funny shape i don't think glue stick's going to work very well i would use pva guys <laughs> because that's what i used on my original one was pva i just thought it would be easy to use a glue stick on the video that's all so we'll put that there so we'll put that to one side just for a minute because that's been a bit weird so i'm going to show you what the next stage is you have two choices here i have got some fimo fimo however you pronounce it of this sort of coloring your angel obviously is going to go for whatever skin color you prefer now this is just one that i had i used fimo in the original piece but if you have a little bead that is just as good and basically this is going to sit on the top like that so we have we have our little face i think perhaps i'm going to have to put that glue gun back on aren't i because that would definitely be easier to glue that just for speed if i was doing it myself i'd stick things leave it to one side and wait but obviously when i'm doing this for you guys i can't do that so i'm just going to quickly pop that glue gun back on and i'll see you in a second I'm back the glue gun is almost 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 ready because it's just starting to come out at the end now obviously i will be careful because i don't want a lot of glue on things so i'm gonna actually again take product to a glue gun there's a tiny bit of glue coming out at the moment i don't want too much glue on it so i need to be a bit careful and let's pop her other arm on bless her there we go you got your arm now that was so much easier and so she has got one sleeve slightly longer but by the time we finish we'll not know now again going back to this little head obviously a bead 
you might need to make the hole a little bit bigger i've got a little file that i do that with or you can sort of sort of try and rub it out with a bit of sandpaper or something like that some beads are okay but some do have tiny holes but for this one when i made it i made sure it was going to push onto the head so oh see this again we've got those stringy bits so i'm just going to very carefully you see what i'm doing here tiny weeny bit of glue get rid of all those strings because i don't want the stringy bits so there's only a little bit of glue in there and we can push that on oh that's so much easier you know i'm actually quite getting used to this glue gun today it's a long time since i've used one because i always go oh i don't like glue guns they don't work for me but that's worked actually quite well so perhaps i might need to rethink the old glue gun here obviously i've got a little head for that one as well now as far as the hair is concerned all it is is a little bit of brown yarn I've, oh, see, this is why I don't like glue gun. And all I've really done is a couple of pieces. I think there was, I think it was just two on this. Let me just count. One, two, three, one, two, three. There was three strands. I used three strands on that one. So I had three strands of yarn. I tied it in the middle, nice and tight. And the thing is, with most yarn, you can split it because, can you see, it's, I'll just do the one. It comes out in lots of different strands. I think on the original one for the doll's house one i used an embroidery thread which would just be just as good if you haven't got any embroidery thread around you can use yarn and you can separate it up and you get these sort of cute little sort of ringlety curls there now this needs to be sticking on her head i will be careful again mr glue gun this is gonna get messy i'm gonna just put a little bit of glue on her head not too much because i don't want it going everywhere it's like making caramel or something because you get all these little strands so i'm just going to pop that make sure i get it to the center pop that on there and then what i need to do really is stick the hair down further all the way around but i think then i would go for a pva the thing is with a pva also it dries clear and it is quite good for that whereas uh, with the glue gun it's not quite the same so you need to just push the hair down all the way around i do need to finish her because i need to take a photograph of her so let's sort of push that on see if that has stuck that's not stuck very well i think the thing is beauty of glue gun you can pick it off um it dries really fast so you've got to get on there quick all right that might be okay this time yay she's got wild hair she's a wild angel at the moment all this hair sticking out everywhere so i'll put a little bit on the back as well i said i don't want to be putting too much glue on i would definitely recommend pva if you have it and let's make sure our hair is covered everywhere see that's sticking down now but it is i think the glue just dries way too fast Now she needs a little bit on this side. Take your time doing this. Obviously, I'm rushing this a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing. It does need to be taken a little bit more careful. But you can see how it is starting to sort of sit down there. I think that, that looks okay. It looks like a little curl there. And the thing is, trim it off afterwards. Make it to a hair length that you want. And the detailing, I just used a felt pen, basically. And on this picture, you can see I just did two little dots of the eyes and a little dot for the mouth. And that was enough. I didn't really need to do any more. In fact, shall I trim the hair now? No, I'll wait. Now, these, these little gems here, I'm going to take one that's on a strip. I know the original ones were on a strip and it made it much easier rather than putting individual ones on. Ta-da! Can you see it comes up in a strip if you cut it in that direction? And all I did with that was I stuck a little crown or a little tiara or however you want to do it from there again i will take a little bit more finesse for when i take the photographs but you get the idea of where it's going now my favorite bit on this was the actual wings which i used a feather and you can see i've already used a bit of this feather on the diagram you can also see what i did now this is an ostrich feather i don't think i don't know what it says it just says white feather on there i can't remember what i used but basically i need to be cutting Cut the middle bit, not the feathers, about the length of her. Ta -da! And then we're going to be sticking that on the back. And of course, 
you need to trim them you could leave it with massive wings like that but they are going to need to be trimmed and when you are trimming these feathers be careful make sure you get your shape nice because you don't want to ruin it so we'll just take off the odd one so take your time don't rush like i am and get some nice shapes on the feathers so you can see how it works i think to be honest this is not an ostrich feather by the look of it this is an ostrich feather which has got a really long front although that bottom bit i'm going to cut this feather up because i don't really need it um because i've got quite a few i'm going to go for that bit you know i think that might work better because it's a bit fluffier down that part a basic feather is probably going to work easier than an ostrich feather Yep, so she's got sort of slightly fluffier wings. We need to take off these lower parts. So can you see if you take those off? I'm going to trim them off now, in fact. She's covered in feather bits now. Look at all these little tiny bits of feathers. I'm just determined to make a mess today. So you can see we have our little feathers on the back here. So again, take your time. Do not be rushing like I am. I'm going to get this finished nicely and then you'll be able to see a photo of it on the thumbnail so you can see how I actually finished it. But that is the basic idea. So from a little bit of cardboard, a bead or a bit of FIMO if you've got it, tiny bit of yarn, a little white feather. I might look for a better feather than that. I have a box full of feathers and for some reason I just grabbed out the ostrich feather thinking I'm sure I did it with an ostrich feather. Uh, but on my instructions, it doesn't say that. So, and obviously, a plain feather is easier to get hold of. You can buy packs of feathers. In fact, where's my feather box? It goes everywhere, though. Get ready for this. Um, oh, wrong box. It's on one of these because I had to climb up to get them. And I just have this box of feathers. Here's my box of feathers. As you can see, I have some ostrich feathers. And I have a bag of all sorts of feathers in here. So I'm going to have a rummage because what happens is I get the feathers out and it goes Hoof, absolutely everywhere. In fact, it's a really cute pink one. She could have some little pink wings. They'd look really nice, wouldn't they, actually? In fact, there's a couple of little pink ones there. You could use two small ones. In fact, I might do that. I know my original one, I didn't. But two little feathers sort of sticking out like that, I think would look really cute. So I will get that finished after the fact. You don't want to see me do that. You can have a play around, see what feathers you've got, see what would work, what wouldn't. But I do think she makes a very cute little angel topper for your Christmas tree or fairy topper or whatever you want her to be. And if you want to make a big version, you could also put it on a bigger tree and on maybe your own tree if you really want to go for it. So that is my messy angel here. Um, the only other thing I'm really going going to show you today is a couple of things I bought off eBay so shall we just push that all to one side we'll tidy the mess up after I will turn the glue gun off I've just burnt my finger there um there we go I've unplugged the glue gun always leave it on a mat that is safe for heat don't sort of leaving it on your table side or something like that um, that is like a little cutting mat that I've got there. So that is quite safe to put it on. Now, again, some things are just not worth making yourself. Or I've seen things that have been made and I'm like, well, I can buy something and make that. Now, this is the little collection I've got. Now, these little trees, again, they can be pound shops, they can be the range, hobby craft. They're the sort of little things you can find all over the place and they are just perfect for the dolls. So that is really cute. So I've got a few of those already in the doll's house. And then I saw some sort of sparkly reindeer somebody had done. And I'm like, oh, I'd like some sparkly reindeers in mine. So I bought these. These are cake toppers. And I thought they were perfect. I actually got a packet of four. Originally, I was going to paint them up. That one's got a little bit sticking out of him. That one's trimming off. I was going to paint them all glittery and to go with all the Christmas theme. Because there's a lot of sort of deers, reindeers, etc. Out stags and that at the moment. And they're quite often glittery. I can't make them in mine now because I sort of quite like them like this. So I'm going to use them as ornaments within the doll's house and I think that'll work quite nicely or I might paint them up with some glitter glue or sort of PVA cover them in glitter something like that but they were I think a pound just over a pound something like that for them so that was perfect now I also bought this now I thought this was absolutely lovely now if anybody wants any other links for these just let me know and I will find them on my eBay page now I do know 
I've bought miniatures off this company before. They do a lot of doll's housey miniatures and it is just the tiniest, weeniest of nativities. And I think it is so lovely. And it sits, oh, poor old Joseph there. I've not glued them in yet. Um, I thought it sits nicely on my mantelpiece to show a nativity there. Again, I was going to paint, but I sort of quite like the effect because it's that sort of cream, sort of alabastery sort of look. Um, so I quite like that. And I think I might leave it at that. Can you see this little guy here? It's just so cute. Right, I will put that down there very carefully. I must glue that in. A couple of other bits I bought. I got this one, but I think I made a bit of a mistake with this. The bottle's fine, but the glasses, I don't know what scale they are. Now, we have a little sort of, I don't know, you could argue a little whiskey bottle or something like that, which has got a little stopper in, which I'll probably glue in place, which I think is really nice. And then these weeniest of glasses. Now, I think they are too small for a 12th scale doll's house, um, maybe a 24th. I mean, they are very cute, but they are too small for a general doll's house, I think, anyway. Sort of a doll's house, doll's house size. But they are cute anyway, and it was the bottle, really, I wanted more than anything else, because I wanted it to look like they got some Christmassy items. This is one of my favourites. Mince pies, how cute are they? I'm not bad using the FIMO, but again, sometimes uh, you've either got not got the time or I'm just not the inclination. And this was a nice sort of price little item. It's on a little plate ready with a little tiny holly leaf on there. So I was pleased with that one. So that's going to be going on their side table. Now, the next one's got nothing to do with Christmas. Oh, it's the wrong bag. Um, but I just had to get it because obviously, what do I do? I crochet and look at that it's a tiny sort of faux magazine that she can have on her table because she might be wanting to do a little bit of Christmas crochet there a couple more that I think are really Christmassy I'm just going to use the scissors on this I was going to try and undo it but we have a bottle of whiskey and this cute little gift bag now I can't make up my mind whether to actually put the whiskey in which is what it's designed for. Or whether to have the whiskey on the side and just the bag on one side and it looks like they've got a little gift. I've got to wrap some little parcels, actually. I've just got some little square boxes. I'm going to put some wrapping paper down. And again, you know, you could add little bits of decoration to make it a bit blingy. Um, but yeah, we need some Christmas presents around that tree, don't we, for decoration. Now, this one I loved because it's something I love in the full size version. Now I've not actually looked at it as you can see yet, so I hope it is as nice as it looked on the picture. It is, oh, look at that. It is the tiniest of Yankee candles. It's even got a little tiny wick in there. Isn't that cute? And again, it's a Christmas one. It's got, to, I think it says white, yeah, it says white Christmas across the bottom but i think they're lovely again if you've got sort of the skills to do that you could probably make one but why not support somebody else who makes something on a regular basis and you just sort of concentrate on what you personally make that's what i normally do so that is really cute that has got to go on the side and then the last thing i've got here is not something i bought but i recently got a gorgeous little uh, gift box a happy mail from J Dolls uk and in it came these. These are one of the items. I mean, there's loads of things that are really lovely. And how cute are they? I'm probably going to glitter these girls up and I'm going to be putting them a sort of display within the doll's house. I think they are really, really lovely. So, yes, I've made some things. I've definitely bought some things and I've got to now start decorating my little room up. I'm going to finish a couple of these off and take some photographs. I'm not going to show you the room yet because there's still quite a bit more I want to make. I don't know whether I will be doing another video. I had considered it because I, again, ones that I did in the magazine, I did like a felt tree skirt. There was a stocking, which is easy enough to make for everybody. Whether you want to stitch or glue, I like to stitch. Um, but a Christmas hat, so felt is a great medium. Don't know whether I'm going to get that one out yet. I might have to save that for next year, perhaps. But hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully you're going to have a play. I think my favourite thing I've made actually is these today. I'm really pleased with those. And I said they're going to be going up in the doll's house as soon as. And I just need to start decorating. I say it's a doll's house. I've actually got my um, mini Cindy's in there. They're not 
Cindy's. They are the Debenham Cindy's, uh, Sarah Louise's. But they're going to be going in there and I'm going to set up a nice little Christmas scene there. So thank you so much for watching. If you do enjoy my videos, please like, subscribe and share. I know towards Christmas my videos get a little bit random rather than what I normally do. Um, but, you know, it's Christmas. We all want to play about with a few things, get in that Christmas spirit. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye bye for now.